How you doing guys? I hope you are well. Let's, is this recording? It's recording. How you doing guys? I hope you're well. Um, very simple dish and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. Cheddar broccoli with a steak. That's it. Cheddar, broccoli and cheese with, with, yep, with a nice juicy steak. That's it. Simple. Delicious. So it's cheddar broccoli um, with some breadcrumbs. It's like the mac and cheese. I like mac and cheese. You know, you, you can have the, the the pasta with the cheese. You know, you make a Mornay sauce, blah, blah, blah. Put the cheese in, serve it. But I like the, the mac and cheese with the breadcrumbs, the texture. And that's what I've done here with the broccoli and cheese. Added some breadcrumbs, flavored the breadcrumbs and added some nice texture. That, that's my personal preference. So that's what I like. And it's, it tastes bloody delicious. It really does. It's amazing. Yeah, I could have grated cheese over the top of the broccoli, bung it in the oven, voila, done, delicious, still nice. But I wanted to take it a little step further with the breadcrumbs and some other little bits and bobs. Really good. It's about simple ingredients done well. So uh, slap a like on this video, um, click that bell, select all. Uh, you'll be notified for every video I upload and um, enjoy. Thanks, guys. Today, I'll be making a delicious roasted cheddar broccoli with a juicy steak. Packed full of flavor, easy and quick to make. First, add the broccoli into a roasting tray. Followed by jalapenos, olive oil, and salt and pepper. Now place in the oven and cook. While the broccoli is cooking, add breadcrumbs to a bowl. I'm using Penko for a lighter, crunchier taste compared to regular breadcrumbs. Next, grate cheese. For me, it has to be sharp cheddar. Add ancho chili powder to the breadcrumbs. This is Grand Pablano chili peppers. They are smoky, sweet, mild, and rich in flavor. Mix well, add olive oil. Mix again. Add to the cheese. Followed by green onion and mix. Take out the broccoli from the oven, remove the jalapenos, Add the cheese and breadcrumb mixture, your choice how much. Now place back in the oven and cook. For my steak, I'll be using ribeye. In my opinion, it performs best on the grill. With its high fat content, it keeps juicy, tender and delicious. Very simple, add olive oil and season well on both sides. Add to a hot grill and cook to your liking. When cooked, rest for about 10 minutes. What I like to do is rub rosemary over the steak for extra flavor. At the end, chop jalapenos and sprinkle over the top. So there you have it, a simple, quick, delicious meal. I hope you give this a go. Recipe amounts are down below. Thanks guys. Hello guys, thank you for making it to the end of the video. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, there's some videos here that you might like related to the video I've just done, or there might not be. But what I want you to do is subscribe, like the video, 
click that bloody bell, uh, you'll be doing me a favour. So uh, yeah, and enjoy some videos here. I've got I've, I've got a few videos up here, so uh, just clicking them and uh, enjoy. Thanks, guys. <laughs>